can you give an example of, of an issue that's going on at the moment that crowdsourcing may benefit with and say how? Yeah. I mean, one of, one of the biggest, biggest problems in, in this part of the region is, is wild dogs and feral animals. And the Desert Channels have developed or created this um, app called Fulcrum. And it allows us to customise an application that can be used to collect feral animals. Uh, it's very simple and very easy to use. And... Um, the data we collected are ranges from you know wild dogs, um, pigs, cats, the very common ones. And everywhere we go, when we we have you know presentation and showing this to the community, and they just love it. And the benefit of this now is that shires, community groups, or landholder can see that information live as it as it gets collected. And you can now start looking at the bigger picture. Um, like throughout the region, you can see what's happening up in Mount Isa, what's happening down in South Australia. You know, all these dog sightings are, you know, can, be, can be seen wherever you are. Our voice is getting heard. We should be also making that voice count, yeah, by putting that information in the right place. You're not the only person having problems with wild dogs and you can work out in what area the, like all the wild dogs are so you can just all work together to get you know, get rid of them. One of the features of this app is that it doesn't require mobile coverage, which means that it's really, really perfect um, application in, the, in, 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 in this part of the region. Um, so it, it can be, it can work offline and or disconnected. So it allows um, landholders or anyone in the community to go out in the paddock and, and collect those information. The message we're trying to convey is basically let's make our voice count. It's good that we're, we're getting our voices heard in, in government and, and, and telling them that you know we have a feral animal problem and, and a big massive one and we shouldn't just be talking air, we should be you know making value of those uh, data that we collect. I mean imagine if you have you know uh, 100 users collecting feral animal sightings across the region and you can just imagine the value and the insights you get out of those data that they collect and you know from from the government's perspective that's that's good information and, and they can use that information to to put actions on the ground <laughs>